All right, good morning everybody and thank you for joining me. We're going to be looking at the wrap-up video uh, from last week just to see how our levels played out. So um, in the grand picture of things, if we're looking at the uh, our big index pictures, it looks like the S&P and the other indexes found our like six-year supply zone up there. So now we're looking at, uh, at at price turning around here possibly and uh, you know looking at that area um, on the big picture kind of looks the same thing on all the other indexes as well except for for TF which seems to be doing its own thing but uh, uh, well I shouldn't I shouldn't say that it, but it's it's way higher than anything uh, has been before so uh, there are, there are no zones above us or anything like that just because uh, we're breaking new highs on TF but uh, it looks like it seems to be following suit with what the other indexes are doing so that's a good thing um, everything still seems to be making sense as far as the indexes go so let's look at what we were forecasting out last week as well as what happened so here's our crude oil chart off of the 240 minute our four hour time frame and uh, really like that time frame a lot is mixed with the daily so um, let's go ahead and see what happened here uh, as you can see uh, that that top level here uh, at um, 98.24 stood in place and it looks like we dropped down out of that um, going through both of those zones the uh, 85 or 95.50 um, as well as that uh, blue zone there and remember it's kind of like chopping down a tree so uh, if we look back in the past uh, those zones both had bounces on them so it's really not that big of a surprise that uh, price came down there and now it's bouncing off of this level down here so uh, not a big deal there at all so let's move over to our other charts and if we look at the the daily charts you know we can see our our big level up there as well as down there and we dropped through everything as we came down here so we are down in this area so this is our ES chart from last week and you can see how the the big weekly monthly zone that was from 2007 we just came up there and kissed it a couple times you know just right there on the mouth and uh, drop down into like the four hour zone and we're bouncing back and forth in between those two levels really hard so let's see what happened uh, over the course of this week okay so as we can see we did uh, do a lot of bouncing around on that and if we look at the dead zones and where they were uh, we can see that that old yellow zone that we got two bounces on as well as uh, price crashing down here into the daily time frame which is represented by that that big blue box right there as well as the 240 minute time frame and then uh, a recoil off of that so you can kind of see what we're looking at as far as the range goes and you know why was that 240 slash daily time frame so important now remember um, the 240 minute doesn't look back you know six years um, and because it doesn't do that we're going to be seeing zones right there um, as uh, as prices uh, just not aware of that old of a, a zone or the the uh, the chart is not aware of that old of uh, price action so that's kind of what we're looking at on that so on the euro here uh, we had a really nice bounce up into that zone um, and then obviously we were bouncing back and forth on this thing so uh, that's what we're looking at on the euro um, and let's see what completed out today okay so obviously we were bouncing around in this range came up there and then dove back down way way down and so now we have our levels looking like this and it looks like we're pushing even lower on the euro so uh, you know we need to be aware of these levels way down here as well as price seems to be crashing down so uh, just want to make sure that uh, we're all aware of these levels down there uh, obviously we have two zones